That is Kevin Craig joining us with a little bit more on what we can expect here in our local area. But the, the main uh, headline here this morning is uh, the hurricane that's hitting Florida. Yeah, it's hard to not get excited about something like this. This has not hit a hurricane, has not hit this geographic location in Florida ever since they've been keeping records. Good morning, everybody. This is making landfall as we speak. They've downgraded it now by five mile per hour instead of 130 mile per hour sustained winds, 125. That takes it from a category four to a category three. Three, but look at all the rain. More than or up to a foot of rain will fall in some of these areas. There's been already street flooding uh, in the downtown area in, uh, in areas around uh, Tampa. Uh, and uh, they've seen a four to six foot storm surge. Some of the storm surges here may be life threatening. They expect life threatening storm surge up to about 16 feet. So here it is Hurricane Adalia, category three, 125 mile per hour sustained winds. We're talking about a tornado that came through Kent County last week with a blast of 110 mile per hour winds, but that was a one shot deal, a one time blast. This is just hour after hour of these types of wind speeds. So it's gonna decimate a lot of the area there. Here's the track. It's gonna remain a category two hurricane through southeastern Georgia and go into Charleston, South Carolina and uh, South Carolina itself, especially along the coast there as at least a tropical storm. And then it emerges out into the Atlantic basin once again as a tropical storm. The only good news here is this thing's moving very quickly, but there's gonna be the life-threatening uh, flash flooding and also the storm surge that we're talking about and the wind. So there's a lot going on there and there's already 100,000 people without power, then that number is going to go up. I've been watching the power supply grid there down in Florida. Uh, dry, sunny for us the next several days. Uh, temperatures are going to be warming this weekend up to around 90 degrees. Then don't forget tonight, try to get out and see the full moon out there. It's a blue moon. It's the second full moon in the same month here. So that's a uh, coins it as a blue moon, and then also it's a super moon because in its elliptical orbit, it's uh, the closest uh, to Earth, usually uh, somewhere around, what is it, 122,000 miles away, and it's a sturgeon moon as well because that's the name of the full moon in August. Uh, we don't have anything on radar. Our temperatures right now this morning across our area, generally in the 50s, and as we look, uh, pull out to a little bit wider perspective here with clouds and radar, look at, uh, there's just nothing going on. Off to the north and west, the west, down to the southwest with high pressure and control. Control. We are starting with some cloud cover this morning, so we'll, we'll get rid of that and then eventually become mostly sunny. It's going to be cool today with highs only in the lower 70s and a north wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Out on Lake Michigan, not a good day for boaters, small craft advisories, for swimmers. We've got rip current risk and a high beach hazard risk out there, so it's just not a good idea to be out there with three to five foot waves. There's the high pressure that's in control for our area. That'll be the case over the next several days. Uh, that high uh, pressure area is going to be slow to move through and then once it does we'll get on the return flow of that because remember the circulation around these highs in a clockwise fashion that means we'll start to tap a southerly and southwesterly wind as we get into and through our weekend and that also means that our temperature and our humidity are going to start to rise and you'll see that reflected in our seven day forecast but there is a stretch of some nice weather coming up if you need rain you're out of luck the next several days we are going to be dry 71 degrees today with skies becoming mostly sunny we're in the mid 70s tomorrow beautiful day. Lower 80s on Friday. Saturday, we're in the lower 80s, a little bit on the breezy side. Mid to upper 80s on Sunday, and then even more heat and humidity for Labor Day next week, Monday and Tuesday. We're up around 90 degrees, so don't count summer out yet. We've got more heat and humidity coming back in here. That's our forecast. Rob checks traffic at 720.